Well, hey folks, Captain Dave here. I'm here to show you early, early in the morning. This is the brand new Nightcore flashlight. It was sent to me by Nightcore. And it's got some really nifty features. Let's do a morning tire check. Tire check. Tire check. This is the one right here that I always got to pay attention to. It's a problem, child. There we go. There's the lowest. And then the next up is, I believe, 80. That's all I really need. All right, tire check complete. This little flashlight puts out 920 lumens. Here is what you just saw. This is Nightcore's brand new M. T10C 920 lumen really small flashlight it has a ton of features I am not by any means one of these flashlight geeks what I am is a practical end user this light was supplied to me by Nightcore along with everything you see the charger, the flashlight, and a nice Cordura type case. Let's start with just going over this complete package, charger, battery, flashlight, case. And then we'll step in to a couple of the features. And then after that, I will go over what it's kind of ended up lacking for my purposes which was a bit surprising because many times you would think that it's something so simple you know it's the exact same thing with knives exact same thing you can have the best fixed blade knife you absolutely love it it's the best one you've ever come across and the sheath sucks. That is sort of in the realm of what disappointed me. But let's go over first these parts and pieces that make up this entire system. Whoa. Whoa, there's 920 lumens, folks. In the red. All right, to start off with, in the box, you know, they really stress that this little dude right here does 920 lumens with either a CR123 battery or an IMR18350 battery. All right, and a battery is supplied with it. In the, in the box, you'll get a Nightcore warranty card, an extensive, whoo, this is the most technical flashlight I've ever had the opportunity to, to mess around with. All of my other flashlights are extremely simple. It's got more than one button, let's put it that way. You get a lanyard for it, two additional O-rings, and a replaceable tail switch rubber cover. Two O-rings. 
One goes in one place and one goes another. As you can see, one is thicker, one is thinner, and this is a replaceable rubber tail switch cover. The tail switch is this right here, that rubber on there. And if you take this apart, you've got an O-ring right here. That's one of your thinner O-rings. Here's the battery. Okay, and then there's an additional O-ring in here, right there. That's probably, for the folks that watch my channel, that's already probably more about a flashlight than you ever knew that existed, right? Because <laughs> it's sort of that way for me. Here's the battery. This is the one that is supplied. It is the IM. R18350 from Nightcore. Very, very powerful. I believe these are, uh, you know, lithium ion type batteries. Really something else. Very, very powerful. So this flashlight is waterproof up to, uh, I believe, two meters. Impact resistant to one meter and will throw a max distance of 190 meters. Inside right here, let's see if we can see it, right there is where there is a red LED. So there you go. You've got a plus and minus switch right here. Minus, 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 minus. There's the little firefly. I always call that firefly. And then you've got a red strobe. That's that little tiny light inside there. Okay. And there's, then you push a button again, and you continue on with red night reading light. Basically, you go back to the tail switch here. And on Nightcore's video about this light, they go over all the modes, one step by step by step, and then you hit the tail switch again, and it returns on the last one that you were on, which is kind of convenient. <clears throat> so there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Woo! Boo! There is turbo mode. And then step down, step down, step down, step down. I would probably end up using like that most of the time and the little firefly mode. Okay, so then you turn off the tail switch, right? Turn off the tail switch. And then when you turn it back on, tail, you turn the tail switch, it comes back to the same one that you were just using. These are the up and down buttons right here. And of course, there's so many things that there's a strobe. And I think you hold down both and you go to strobe mode. So there's a strobe alert, strobe alert. Now I got it on, there it is on beacon. It's on Beacon right now, folks. That's really cool for us boaters. That is cool for mariners. People stuck on the side of the road. Okay. Then you go right there, and then you... I hit both, and now I'm going to drop it down. There it is, Firefly. And then off with the tail switch. But next, we're going to go over the charger. Uh, one thing I did miss is if you want to go to the the CR123 battery instead of the more powerful, I believe, 18350, they do give you a sleeve. I do have a CR123 battery. And what you do is you take this off and you take your CR123 slide it in the sleeve and then it makes it fit better in here. So they are giving you that's how you use 
the two different types type of batteries. I missed that. Okay, but let me tell you, this uh, 18350, this IMR 18350, ooh, it's a bad mammer jammer. It is a good, good battery. All right, so then I covered the O washer replacement, the tail switch replacement, the you got the lanyard, the di big time directions, which isn't all that huge, warranty card. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the charger in which I cut the package open here. USB management and charging system by Night Cords, the UM10. And it's a digital readout with safe and intelligent charging programs for USB lithium ion battery charging and with a charging status readout. And it has USB input and output. And then, of course, it gives you what it's all capable with what batteries. With different size batteries because what it does is it extends. What you, what you get with it is this cord that conveniently wraps around here. You can open this up and you can reverse the USB and go in there. Take this, oh, put it over here. Flat side goes to flat side. That goes in there, right? And then there's a switch here for either USB or battery. And what you would do is you could actually use this as possibly a charging station. This is how you'd charge it. And then you'd reverse it. And this charger now becomes useful as a battery bank. Put that back in there like that and I'll show you it running here for a minute and then you can take this and plug it into a phone or anything for making those emergency calls when you've got a charged battery in here and it shows up with what percentage is charged up here on this uh, LED I'll show you that later on all right so handy charge even though all of my other flashlights not I'll say all other but my other flashlights are all keep the battery inside and it gets plugged into USB and you don't have to take the battery out this night core is a little different but at the same time they're trying to be able to have you take the battery out of here, you can charge it, and then if you've got charge left, you could pop it in here and you could use it to boost your phone. It has its merits. There's no doubt it has its merits. Both have their merits. Plugging in to the flashlight without doing anything, hitting it into a USB, and just letting it sit and charge and this. So both have have their merits and I can see um, why you could you know go one way or the other. It depends on what you want to do. So that's the charger that would go basically with this light and a lot of the other night course uh, flashlight systems. Then you've got a pretty much standard fare here. Cordura case. It's not bad. Got a, got a little um, Velcro there, got a little hole here. You could put a lanyard on it if you wanted to wear it a different way. Um, I'm not hugely into sheaths like this myself, but almost on this one, I'd have to be. Because now we're going to go into the portion where I'm going to show you I'm big into how to carry, like I was talking about knives. You know, you can have the greatest knife in the world, but if the sheath is bad, then 
it keeps you from, you might like that knife, but it keeps you from loving that knife. And this is the pocket belt clip, or yeah, I just call it a pocket clip. I thought as soon as I got this that I could pop it on here, but that little groove right there is too thin. So then I said, oh, maybe this little groove. Well, it's too thin for this. It goes on, and then it just kind of falls off. Same thing with here. Might go on, and then it just kind of falls off. So I was saying to myself, okay, where am I supposed to put this? Well, halfway in the middle of the flashlight. Not good for me. I am majorly a belt clip guy. And I will show you right now why being in the middle here isn't that great. This would have been a very simple fix in my mind right now to have had this belt clip to not just go here which I don't know what the theory is of having it just go right there, but to put it up here, and I'm gonna show you why. All right, the most aggravating thing in the entire YouTube world of doing reviews, and especially knife reviews, is people will talk about a sheath, they'll talk about a belt clip, and they will never ever show you hardly them ever using that sheath or belt clip in the wear position. Well, that's what I'm going to do right now. Here is how I would normally have this flashlight for quick deployment, but look at this. That's not really in there because it's not really in my pocket. Half of it is hanging out of my pocket. So that doesn't work, and it doesn't have hardly any retention. It would have been better if this clip was way at the top here, and primarily with lens down so it's protected. This isn't, that don't work. That's going to fall out of my pocket and go right in the water. I want it down in my pocket as much as possible. And I'm super right-handed. Everything I have to do is with the right hand. And now look at here. That's just going to fall out. That's not working. At least it's not working for me. And I don't want to use this if I don't have to. I'd just as soon have a flashlight right here in my pocket. So they need to work on where this clip actually goes. I would prefer it to be way up here. Widen this little gap, take this pocket clip, make it even a little longer, and have it snap in right there. Now it does snap in, but look, it's very, very loose. All right, and have this go longer, go longer. And then I'm going to tell you the second thing that I wish all flashlight manufacturers would do when it comes to buttons. We discussed the belt clip. Well, there's this other little thing that kind of bothers me, and it's with all flashlights, period. It would be great. Yes, that red light is okay. I mean, I don't know how much I would use that red light, even as a boatsman, fisherman, or whatever. I mean, uh, they're, they're maybe satisfying a tactical kind of person with that red light, which is fine. But for me, I've already used red lights on other flashlights, and I can't rig... Uh, fishing lines or anything with red light. 
you just can't see enough. And what I wish they would do is somehow when you're running the light and it's on, okay, there, that's on right now, it would somehow reflect some light back and these buttons right here, these buttons right here would be glow in the dark. Maybe not this one has to be glow in the dark. It could be just from carrying it like this and the sunlight being on it. And then this would be glow in the dark too. But I have had and I've got other flashlights and this one will be included that maybe you got to take and put the belt clip over here because when you're fumbling around and it is pitch black dark, you have to turn and feel for those, that, those buttons. If those buttons were separated with a space, with a little bit of a space, bigger space maybe, and somehow they could, you know, in today's world, they could take this uh, lens, not lens, but the cone, chrome, cone, I can't remember, reflector inside, and maybe somehow just have enough little light come in that when you turn this flashlight off, these would glow for hours. So then when you pulled it out of your pocket, you don't have to do this. Oh, where is that? Oh, there it is. And then you hit the buttons. You would see them because they'd be slightly glowing. That, in my opinion, is something I have never, ever seen on a single flashlight. Maybe they have that in the International Space Station or something. I don't know. But I have not seen it on Earth. That and the pocket clip. I can deal with I can deal with no problem with this having multiple modes and all that. First thing I would think of is, okay, this is too confusing for me. I don't need all this. But when you're getting a flashlight at, at the price point, let's say that this might be, that's just an added feature. If you use it or not, you got it. That's how I look at these highly programmable flashlights. Well, I just noticed something that I didn't notice before, and it gets back to that ba that belt clip again. All right, I want to take the battery out. I have the belt clip on where it's supposed to be, maybe, or it's supposed to be this way. I had it up towards the lens. Now I'm going to reverse it. Maybe it's supposed to be reversed because even right now, the belt clip is hitting this, this, these flat spots. But when I had it this way, the way I would think it's supposed to be, when you're taking it off or you're taking the battery out, this is turning around and there it is, smacking and wanting to pull on those rubber mode buttons right there which not good if you're doing this a lot so that means you'd have to pull the the possibly pull this off every time you're going to charge the battery and we all know this spring steel it ain't the toughest stuff in the world and you're going to end up just snapping off these because I've snapped off bunches of them and then my belt clip is ruined. So there's something that I just noticed. Okay, now what I got over here on the side is I've got a battery pack. And I believe this goes in here like this. All right, I'm gonna take the, uh, I gotta reverse this because now I'm going to put it as if I'm going to charge the battery. So, I'm going to take this end, the micro USB, and I'm going to put it in here, 
and I am going to put it on it's on USB and I am going to plug this into a battery pack not necessarily my computer or the wall and there you go there's what you get let me see if I can see yes okay 93 94 percent charged okay and there it is it's charging alrighty at the boat ramp Woo, the tide's high damn it's up, it's up pretty far. Oh, holy crap. Ugh. Well, I guess it's waterproof. Let's try that again. Yep. It's waterproof. Salt water. All right. That's good that it's waterproof. Especially when I'm using it. Let's look out here. Whew. There's the super. I believe that's, there's turbo right there. That's non-turbo, a little less non-turbo. There you go. So this thing's got lots and lots of features, that's for sure. This is too bright, see? There we go. See, now right now I'm fumbling to find the up switch on here. I was fumbling to find the up, up switch. There we go. That's the only light I need. There's. That's about all I really need right there. This is kind of busy on a Sunday. Get out my fenders. Off. All right. Stick a fork in me. I'm ready to go fishing.